The TSA is what you get when you have an entrenched bureaucracy handling a security problem. Right? Their mission, as we all believe, is to prevent airplane terrorism. But their real mission is to keep the TSA viable. Right? They can't be irrelevant. They lose funding, they lose personnel, they might disappear. So everything they do is designed to make them look good and prevent them from looking bad if something happens. So you know, if you think about what they do, they're always preventing against what happened last time. Right? Terrorists use guns and bombs. Yeah. TSA takes away guns and bombs. The terrorists use box cutters. They take away box cutters and knitting needles. Uh, terrorists put bombs in their shoes. They screen shoes. The terrorists use liquids. They take away liquids. Terrorists put bombs in underwear. They put in full body scanners. The terrorists are going to do something else. Right? This is a stupid game and we should stop playing it. But if you think about it, if you're the TSA, you have to play that game because if the thing happens again, you are blamed. If something new happens, you can say, it's new. We didn't know about it. But if it's the thing that happened last time, politicians, the people, expect that you will be able to see it. So the TSA is really engaged in a massive public relations campaign to convince all of us that they are relevant. And largely it works. You know, some of us get pissed off at the TSA, but most people say anything for my security. If they only knew that they're giving up all these things and not getting much security, right, then they'd be annoyed. But most people don't think that far ahead.